we all talk about what makes a sensible daily. It's practical, good looking, great with the kids, has awesome performance and maintains great fuel economy, especially when prices of petrol, diesel, and now electricity is bloody high, really high. So we all know what the answer is. So I'd like to introduce you to the next or the new project build. I'd like to introduce you to my new BMW 335D X-Drive. This is an F31 Touring model. As you can see, it's in mineral gray, they call it. Um, I just love the, love the color. Typical, I sit up for most of my cars, but I'm probably quite biased. Um, there's something a bit special about this one. So it is a six pot, but it's not only a 3 free, it's a 5D. So this is a twin turbo model. Um, when he's a tune to play with, they can be just under 400 brake. We have enough torque to rip off your face. Uh, it's around seven, 800 newton meters of torque. They're pretty rapid off the line, and especially with four wheel drive, it's on another level. So yeah, these are great cars. Um, and yeah, this is the, the practical daily answer to all of you out there who's looking for a car that's good for your economy, good to the family and the kids, but also maintaining its looks. I think it's a beautiful looking car. As you can see, it's had a rear passenger knock. I'm going to assume someone's pulled out because it's all the way down the side. It's lost the side skirt. The passenger door's all gone in and bent. In fact, the top of the door I've had to tape up to stop rain, rain getting in. Uh, the rear door has also got damage to it. And a little bit on the quarter panel, which we'll look at in a moment. But predominantly the damage is here. So as you can see, the suspension has completely collapsed. What we're going to do in the next video, we'll stop stripping this down and seeing how bad it is. Uh, but typical fashion, I couldn't help myself, so I have been shopping. These are loaded new panels, and down here already, I've got a new suspension leg and new arms for the whole front suspension. So quite excited to get crack on, cracking on with that. I'll start doing that in the next couple of videos over the coming weeks. So yeah, this is totally gone. It was quite fun actually getting this off the, the trailer for, for when it was delivered. Um, it was being shipped around on a forklift at Copart. Um, there is a bit of damage underneath the car, which I'll show in just a moment, um, which I've also ordered the new bar for that. Um, but we do need to strip it down, make sure there's nothing else broken and take it from there. So that's pretty nasty to be fair. but I don't think this damage is as bad as the Peugeot we've, as bad as the Peugeot that we are rebuilding. There it is. So this bar here, it's like a, a rear brace as I was being bent by the forklift. But yeah, as you can see, it's got the big M Sport brakes around, which I think is the same on the, the M models, split tailgate, with the glass, does one open. But yeah, Sawan has spent quite a bit of money and time on this. So I think it's around 80,000 with a full BMW service history, from what I can tell from the computer. But yeah, I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. Look at that, looks perfect. <laughs> I can't turn the wheel at the moment because it's obviously collapsed on the passenger side, but it's lovely in here. And if I just start her up. She sounds peachy. Plenty of errors as you expect, but as I said, it's high spec. It's got heads of display, panoramic roof, Carmen Carmen sound system, um, pretty much most toys you want in a car. Um, obviously, being a touring, it comes with a large boot in the back, good space for the dog and the kids on the back. So, what I'm going to do is ship it all down, find out where the damage is, 
assess what's needed and then start fitting panels and parts um, hopefully it's all bolt on I hope there's no nasty surprises behind that wheel um, I've already bought some modifications for the car as well so when those are delivered I'll also get those out um, yeah I'm really looking forward to this one I'm really looking forward to actually driving it be back in a diesel I think the wife might be looking to have the Peugeot but yeah time will tell we will see so yeah I bought this car from Copart another auction buy <laughs> Yeah, the strut tower looks perfectly fine. I can't see any obvious whoop, damage or marks other than the, the wheel arch liner being pulled out. That's as expected. Apart from that, nothing's moved under here. <clears throat> I mentioned earlier the door is what the hell is this camera doing there we go as I mentioned earlier the door is slightly bent from when it's been hitting the corner so I had to duct tape it stop the rain getting in as we are in Wales it does like the rain so I paid just shy of just over nine grand for the car um, which I think is actually a really good price when I was looking online again earlier today uh, they seem to be going for anything from 10 or up to 20 grand still which is nuts um given a spec i think it's a really good really great car in fact the spec is what pulled me in and the color yeah so let me know what you think the new project on our channel oh, look at that <laughs> it looks great so i'm quite excited for this excited to be back in a bmw again i uh, sold the m5 uh, a few months back now um, even though i still got the m3 it's still not the same of having it as a daily so yeah looking forward to getting back out in that so yeah first plan of attack take off the wheel and assess the damage underneath on the suspension hopefully there's no suffering damage and see what's going on and then we'll take it from there so yeah let me know what you think in the comments like subscribe yeah stay tuned